I'm Sally Huss, and I write and illustrate children's books. I'm going to read one to you now. It's called No Smoking, No Drinking, No Drugs. It's about making good choices. It was a day like any other winter day as Billy walked home from school. But when he rounded a corner, the day changed. There on the steps near an old building was a group of older kids who were all laughing and joking. They were also smoking and drinking. Here, kids, said one, take a puff. Another offered him a drink, shoving a glass in his direction. Just as Billy was about to take a sip, a little mouse jumped out from behind a bush. He held up his hand and waggled his finger at Billy. No, no, he said. Tell him no. The little mouse was so insistent, Billy did what he was told. No, thank you, he said, and handed back the glass. Then the little mouse waved for Billy to follow him. Down the street, the little mouse hopped up on a wall and introduced himself. I'm Mr. Consequences. I'm here to help you make good choices. Con, 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 Billy stuttered. Consequences, said the little mouse. It is what happens when you make a choice. Smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, taking drugs, and vaping are all bad choices. Bad choices lead to bad results. Let me explain. Mr. Consequences pointed to a row of houses across the street. All had smoking, smoke curling out of their chimneys. Smoking is for chimneys, he said, not for people, young or old. He continued, chimneys are made of bricks and st or stones, and the smoke that passes through them does not harm them. But the walls of your lungs and throat are made of living cells, and smoke can harm them over a period of time. Jumping down from the wall, he added, just as smoking can damage your throat and lungs, alcohol can damage other organs of your body. Like your heart, liver, kidneys, and even your brain. They walked a few steps, a few steps together. Mr. Consequences didn't want Billy to miss the point. You need these organs to function well to keep you healthy and happy. With that, the little mouse pulled out a piece of cheese from his pocket. Look in here, he said. This is what can happen to these people. He held the cheese up so Billy could peer into it. What he saw was a group of people who all looked sick and unhappy. When you lose your health, said Mr. Consequences, you lose your happiness too. What about drugs and the people who use those? Billy asked. Drugs are for doctors, explained Mr. Consequences. Sometimes drugs are needed to help a person who is sick or injured get well, but a doctor is the one to decide this. The drugs that kids use on the street are damaging to your health too, especially to your brain. You need your brain to function perfectly so that you can become the best you can be. Every, everyone has the ability to become great at something or even many things. Drugs can get in the way of this and a person, young or old, may lose interest in learning and developing their own greatness. Again, Mr. Consequences held up the cheese for Billy. This is what can happen if those kids continue to take drugs, he said. 
There, through a hole in the cheese, Billy saw a bunch of young people all lounging around on a street doing nothing. They looked lazy and hopeless. They were no longer happy. Oh no, said Billy sadly. Then why do they do it? Why do kids smoke and drink alcohol and take drugs? Many like to do what everyone else is doing. Most don't know the consequences when they start. It's very simple. If you don't start, you won't have a problem. If you do, you might. The little mouse handed him the cheese. I'm glad that now you know the consequences, Billy, he said. That's what is important. Your future is bright. Take a look. There in a hole in the cheese, Billy could see his future. He was pleased by what he saw. Well, I must be off now, Billy, said Mr. Consequences as he hopped back on the wall. Remember, everyone has the right to make their own choices, bad, good or bad. I believe you now understand the importance of making good choices. Your happiness depends on it. Thank you, Billy replied and waved goodbye. Mr. Consequences called back. You're welcome, Billy. Don't forget, good choices lead to good results. Bad choices lead to bad results. Billy was happy now that he knew the difference and planned to stay healthy and happy his whole life long. The end, but not the end of making good choices. It's a wonderful book. can be very helpful to all children. All of my books may be found on Amazon or on my website, sallyhess.com.